Hello everybody, how are we all? I hope you're all doing really well. I am filming a grocery haul slash meal plan video today that I hope you will all find useful. So currently in the situation we do find ourselves in, I'm trying to shop differently and I'm trying to shop in a way that's sensible, smart and financially better savvy, all of those things, just to try and reduce the amount of time I'm spending in a supermarket, reduce the amount of money I'm spending, reduce food waste, and all of that general thing. But before we do start, I just want to take the time to say the biggest thank you to every single key co-worker is keeping not only our country running, but the whole world running. We're talking supermarket staff, NHS workers, doctors, nurses, carers, cleaners, everyone in between because without you guys we wouldn't have food to put in our fridge and food to put on our table and we wouldn't even be alive so I just want to say the biggest thank you genuinely from the bottom of my heart and obviously a thank you from everyone else as well so I just want to get that out first. <laughs> I just made myself a coffee today is a Monday we do our food shops on a Monday and obviously you're only really supposed to have one person going to do a food shop if you can so I'm doing it on behalf of myself and Zara so when I do go I shop for both of us. Yeah, as I said, I'm going to be doing a meal plan of everything that we need and then I'm going to do a grocery shop and show you everything that we're going to eat for the week. So, let's take a look inside our fridge and see what we've got going on. Whenever I do a food shop, I always have a look through our cupboards. This is essentially like our pantry. So we have all of our cans and dry goods and then obviously this is our fridge. So I have a little check through both just to see what we do have and then I try and plan meals around that. So, let's take a look in the fridge. Okay, so this is the current situ of our fridge. It's not that bad, it's not horrendous. <laughs> um, it could definitely do with a few more things. So we've got um, a kind of tub of coleslaw at the back that probably doesn't need eaten very soon. We've got six eggs, which is awesome. Um, we've got some tonic water for gin, <laughs> an absolute essential. These are just some cookies that I made um, at the weekend. There's only three left in there. Recipe is linked down below if you wanna do that yourself. We've got half a pint of grapes, a tub of hummus, um, some cheese, a little bit of butter that's left over from bacon. We have some ginger, some mushrooms that we're going to use up this evening. And then on the bottom shelf, we have some olive spread, some bits of cheese, some puff pastry, which definitely is going to get used. We still have quite a lot of natural yogurt left. We use like the big tubs, some double cream, and we've got some almond milk, some orange juice, and just like our sauces. We have some berries that we've been having for breakfasts, and this is what we're gonna have for lunch. It's a leftover curry from the weekend that we made. Salad drawer, not looking too great in there. We have some celery and some leeks. We're gonna use the leeks for a pie this evening. And in here we have a cucumber and some broccoli. And that's, that's pretty much it. So definitely in need of a top up of some bits and bobs for sure. Oh, and then on the side we just have all of our condiments up top, like mustards, um, chili, uh, it's like stem ginger, mustard again, uh, jam, marmalade, chutney, chili sauces, a bottle of champagne. <laughs> We're saving that for a special occasion. Some oil milk we have for teas and coffees and our water filter. So yeah, definitely gonna need a top up of some bits. And then cupboard wise, again, not looking too bad. We're running low on like tomatoes. We have a can of chopped tomatoes and some beans. So I might grab like another can of those. Um, dry stuff, we still have loads. We've got like pearl barley, risotto rice, arborio rice. So we don't need any dry goods. Spices were still good. And in terms of pasta, we've still got plenty of penne, plenty of spaghetti for silly. We've got macaroni, we're running a little bit low on. So I might grab some more of that. And then we still have whole wheat and the other type of pasta. So we're pretty good on that half too. So these are the three things that we use when we are food shopping and planning for the week. So this was from Wilco, this is from Poundland, and this is just a little tear out from one of Zara's notepads. So this is what we would have used when things were normal pre-virus. We would plan our week out, so anything that we'd have, and maybe I would be out during an evening for an event, or Zara would be out with friends or whatever, we'd write that down so we'd know the meals that we were having together but obviously now that we're in the house every single day then we don't need that so we set that aside. This is what we're using religiously so this was from Poundland and it has Monday through till Sunday and then it has breakfast, snacks, lunch, snacks and dinner. So this is essentially a whole week's worth of food that you can condense down and it's magnetized so you can just pop it on your fridge and you can see it so whenever you open the fridge you know what you're dealing with. 
So this is what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to plan out some meals. And then this is our little shopping list. So we keep this magnetized on the side of the fridge. These are just some recipes we picked up from Waitrose that we want to try out. So we keep this on the side of the fridge and anything that we run out throughout the week, we just add to this and then we know that this needs to go on the shopping list when we do the shop. So I have my meal planner and I have my pen and what I'm going to do is just reassess what we have in the fridge that we can make meals out of and anything that we don't have. I'm going to have a little look through our selection of cookbooks here, ones that we absolutely love. Jamie Oliver's Veg, definitely going to have a little cheeky look through there. Um, Mob Kitchen's really good but we've been using that quite a lot recently so I might give that one a miss. Maybe Leon, we could do a curry perhaps. So usually it wouldn't be a whole full week of food because like I said me and Zara would be out and about but obviously given the current circumstances we have to do a whole Monday to Sunday food shop because we don't really want to leave the house anymore than we have to. So this evening we're having leek and potato pie, then we're doing pasta figoli and I write the page number down so it's 2 or 4 which is this recipe here. It's like a nice chilli pasta. This is from Jamie Oliver's Veg. I'll link all these cookbooks down below. And then we have masala stuffed peppers, which is this recipe here. These look absolutely delicious. They've got like paneer and things in, so that's what we're going to have. We're going to have a chili con carne, which is just a classic. You guys have seen me make that so many times before. We're going to do a homemade quiche, obviously a vegetarian one. And then um, I accidentally wrote these the wrong way around, but we're going to do a mushroom risotto, which is in here. So this is the mushroom risotto. We've never made this one before, but it looks absolutely amazing. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to do a sweet potato curry on Sunday. Um, again, classic. You guys have seen me make that before. So rather than actually writing out a shopping list and having to scratch things off with like a pen, I do it all in the notes app on my phone um, just because I find it easier. And it's also good to categorize it as well. So I just write everything we need. So toiletries and cleaning, very weird that basically the Aldi we go to, the toiletry and cleaning supplies are in the entranceway, so I grab those first. And then this is our veg section, so I know everything in there is done. This is the way it is in the shop. Um, I just find it easier to do this, just again to reduce the amount of time I'm in there. And this is like the deli section. As you can see, we need quite a lot, like a lot of things we ran out of, ketchup, meal, that kind of thing. And then dry store, there's like tea bags, coffee we've ran out of, things like soy sauce we need, um, and frozen, we just need some frozen fruit for smoothies. And that is it. So that's how I meal prep. It's a bit of an effort, but it means you're a lot more efficient. You're only spending what you need to. You're reducing the amount of time that you are spending in the supermarkets, which means people can get in and out faster, just so you can be at home. So yeah, I'm gonna grab my reusable bags, hop in the car and drive to Aldi. Okay, so this is everything I take when we go shopping. Time is currently 10.45. I've got two Hessian tote bags, and then this is just like a thermos freezer bag, just keeps the groceries cold. I've got obviously anti-back for cleaning purposes, my airpods, so obviously it's going to be a queue just to keep me entertained, a pound for the trolley, my phone that's got the list on, and my wallet. I just need to grab my keys, and then we're going to go. So I'm back from Aldi, sanitized my hands, and I am about to clean everything down before we pop it into our stores, obviously fridge, cupboard, and then I will wipe all of the surfaces as well, just really trying to make sure I'm maintaining a high level of cleanliness. Also Aldi are operating where you can actually clean your own trolley slash basket, and I just think you can never be too careful. So um, yeah, essentially in and out in maybe half an hour, which I know I'd spend a hell of a lot more time in there had I not had a list. So I'm going to show you everything I got. So I thought I'd give you a quick run through our receipt as well. I spent a total of 52.99. Now this is going to be enough for breakfasts, lunches and dinners for myself and Zara for probably more than seven days. Plus um, I did get a lot of like cleaning products and we got some multivitamins and a lot of dry store products like sauces and things that we wouldn't purchase week on week. So this is quite an expensive 
shop, but obviously we split our food shop down the middle. So obviously being vegetarian, we buy a lot of vegetables and the recipes that we're doing this week require quite a few. So hence why we bought a lot, but trust me, they will all get eaten. So I bought two of the multi-packs of sweet mixed peppers. And um, so one of these is gonna be for obviously the stuffed peppers and then the others is just for salads. I've got some asparagus for the risotto, four carrots, I got a pack of mushrooms and another pack of mushrooms. Uh, we used the spinach in smoothies, so I got one of the wild and succulent spinaches, and then I got some curly kale to pop in the freezer. I had a couple of questions about whether you can freeze kale. You absolutely can. It's a great way to preserve it, and we just add this into curry, and it. it's just delicious. Got some lemons for our cocktails at the weekend that we're going to be doing, and also just for smoothies. I got some apples to pop in our smoothies as well, some rosemaries. I got some wonky strawberries that are gonna go into an eaten mess. The wonky variety in Aldi is amazing because it's all of the fruit and veg that is not aesthetically pleasing. It's really, really affordable and there's nothing wrong with it. So we always get that. I got a big bunch of bananas. I think there's seven in total. A lot of bananas, but we do go through them because we pop two in a smoothie every morning. So hence why we have a lot. I got a packet of mixed chilies for the pasta that we're going to be doing. I got two sweet potatoes and one butternut squash for obviously the recipes. An avocado as well to have for breakfast. So that's all of our fresh produce. No, it's a lot, but trust me, we will make our way through it. We actually ran out simultaneously of coffee and tea at the same time, unheard of. So this is the coffee machine that we use and which actually uses real beans, so hence why we need the real beans. So I picked up some of the Alcaf uh, Five Intensity Rich and Refined Beans, um, and these are brand new, I've never seen these in Aldi before, so yeah, gonna try those out. And then Yorkshire tea, because I'm from the north and we love Yorkshire tea, and you get 50% extra as well. We got a pack of 12 large free range eggs and we have these for breakfast. We make them in cakes and recipes, so we go through quite a lot of eggs. And then I got one can of chopped tomatoes and one can of plum tomatoes. I didn't want to buy too many cans because I know these are quite difficult to find, so I wanted to leave a lot for people and just buy what we needed. I also ran out of antiperspirant, so I got myself a little deodorant roll on. I got some vitamin C tablets because we're trying to take as many vitamins as possible. We ran out of loo roll, so I got some loo roll, kitchen roll and multi-purpose blue cloths. So that's the main bulk of this section. Then over here is like more miscellaneous, non-categoric items. Um, Ta-da! We found flour. <laughs> this, I nearly had a moment of, I nearly cried basically because we've been running really low on flour, let me show you. We have this jar of plain flour and a jar of uh, self-raisin and that is it. So um, I know that looks like a lot, but when you bake as much as I do, I was like, oh God, what are we gonna do? So we got a pack of each, which is gonna obviously last us a really long time. I got some short crisp pastry. I know this is kind of cheating, but I just thought, I think I already had this in the trolley, just as a precaution if I couldn't find flour to make pastry, but I thought it's just really good as like a quick and easy substitute. So I actually might put this in the freezer. I got some butter to bake with, and some of these protein yogurts. They're absolutely delicious. They've got 25 grams of protein in each. I got some orange juice for the smoothies one of these sachets of the chili con carne mix because these are just amazing. Some olive spread, this is what we have on toast. Some Greek style feta salad for the stuffed peppers. And then some store cupboard ingredients, so soy sauce and honey. We also ran out of salad cream, mayonnaise and ketchup. Well, we've got like a smidgen of ketchup left, so I restocked on all three. I got us a bottle of Prosecco to have at the weekend as well as our treat. Um, a garlic baguette because Zara's warned me if I ever come back from a food shop without a garlic baguette she will move out So I always get one of those <laughs> um, I got some garlic and coriander naans for the curry Some Italian style chia batters that we're going to have mushrooms on toast with on the weekend And this is the last four items I got some of these stackers They're like Pringle-esque crisps for 70 pence um, So I thought they'd just be really nice if we have like a movie night Similarly these mature cheddar and red onion crisps are delicious so I grabbed some of those I got us a little freezer pizza as well just as like a quick thing if we want to have maybe like as a lunchtime treat or a weekend treat and then some frozen mango chunks this is what we have in our smoothies and that is literally everything there were a couple of things that i couldn't find but it wasn't worth trying to go to all the supermarkets for and um, like wire wool abrasive wire wool that i used to clean the oven we ran out of that but there wasn't any so that's fine and like a white bean so we couldn't um we need like chickpea or a cannelloni bean or a butter bean we couldn't really find any of those so that wasn't ideal but that's fine again i'm sure we can find a substitute so that was it really really good in terms of stocking again i just want to say a massive thank you 
you to everyone out there who's ensuring that our shelves are stocked, that we can eat and operate and just live because obviously, like I said at the start without you guys, it would be a struggle. So um, yeah, that's it. I really hope this has helped. If you are shopping, even if it's for yourself, I would definitely recommend meal planning and writing yourself a digital shopping list that you can add to. But I really hope you have enjoyed this. As always, do stay safe, guys. I'm thinking of you all during this time and I really hope normality and everyone's health and well-being does resume back to normal very soon. But thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.